Did I tell you I cannot get enough of this music? This is Lover of Ladies, and... I don't know. If this video game had Rawls released... even the worst part of my job. ...a soundtrack, I would buy it. Sure. Seriously. You may take a beating, but at least you get the chance to defend yourself. But when you're sitting in your car all night, there's no way out. Your legs cramp up. Your back and neck feel stiff. Your entire body aches to be somewhere else. It's me boring. after a good and round of gym time for me. Well, go in, Black Sad. It's now or never. I mean, do you really want to be a scaredy cat? Dude. Yeah, I know. Don't People look at me like that. Leaving the place. The bar was about to close. And I hadn't seen Mitchell go in or out. So this is the part where we go in, right? I had no choice. Yeah, we're going in. I see you took me up on my invitation. And you're smart. You knew not to come until my anti-fur regulars had all cleared out. I can't say no to good advice. Or good bourbon. Ooh, okay. He's looking at you, Mr. Uh, what was your name? As far as I knew, La Iguana always stayed neutral. He played poker with Cassidy, but his joint was used as a gambling drop-off for O'Leary's operation. Did it make sense to keep faking it? Or was it yeah. too dangerous not to? Farnham. Howard M. Farnham II. That's right. Howard Farnham from Ding Dong Dick. Yeah, because if I tell him my real name, he's gonna be like, not trusting of me. You're natural. You're even better at pool than poker. Ah, uh, this here's much easier. No cheating. <laughs> you barely flinched when Cassidy decided to teach that ego a lesson. What do you want a fella to say? If Cassidy hadn't ordered his barber to kill that son of a bitch, I'd have done it myself. Yeah, because he's a disgusting individual. Some child of predator. creatures just don't deserve to live. Damn it. Well, nobody's perfect. Tell me, what do you really want with Cassidy? I can't say it's clear to me. I'm looking to start a boxing manager's association in Texas. I could really use Cassidy's know-how. Don't worry about it. I was only curious. So, what about me? What do you want from me? Hmm. No one comes to La Iguana just to drink and play pool. I'm here looking for a regular of yours. Dr. Angus Mitchell. What for? Oh, man. We fought together during the war. I just wanted to say hi. Sure. Tell you what, I'll talk to Mitchell. Come back tomorrow night. You don't understand. I have to talk to him or else. Or else what? I don't think Cassidy would be too happy about the role this here dump plays in old Leary's gambling operation. You follow me? Son yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, he's uh, pissed. All right. Give me your phone number, and I'll give you a call when Mitchell shows up. No. You're going to call him right now, and you're going to give him this message. Oh, yeah, he's shook. He's like, wait a minute, you changed your accent. Night, 
There's no way out. Your legs cramp up. Your back and neck feel stiff. Your entire body aches to be somewhere else. It's boring and repetitive. It's so bad that your thoughts spiral in a never-ending loop. Like when you're stuck in your car, on surveillance duty. You're not really being slick, The owner Black of La Iguana was supposed to tell Mitchell that a certain anteater was still alive. And that it was only a matter of time before he ratted him out. With a bit of luck, that would make him nervous enough to force his hand. Look at now that iguana go. Was follow him. Oh no, the docks. Besides the basement, the docks are the second most active bullshit places to be in. Some crazy stuff always happens at the docks if you're not stuck in the basement. Question is, what crazy shit is gonna happen right now? Black Sad, please be careful. You don't know if this iguana is luring you into a trap. Who knows? We can never be so sure what type of information he received, or if he even got a warning. Look at that ugly ass iguana. He ain't shit. With his doofy ass hat. Doofy ass shirt. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> Let me stop. Let me stop. I gotta admit though, I like those types of hats. It's just it just looks ugly on him, you know? So what's the plan, Black Sad? We going in through the front or the back? I'll let you decide. Oh, he coming out with a briefcase. You know what that means. I bet he has a pe- <gasps> The horse. Okay, okay. First of all, let me take a look at that piece that that horse is holding. Okay. Cool. Yep, we know, we know the horse is armed. But what else are they talking about? What about the briefcase? Or better yet. Come on. Yeah, the jacket. Come on. Hell's horses. Bye. Alright, let's take a look at the iguana. Come on. There you go. We'll be just fine, don't worry. Gil, stand guard right here. If the cat shows up, you know what to do. I'll be back in an hour. So I have one hour to get inside this place. Is what you're telling me. I gotta admit though, I like that jacket. Black said, what are we gonna do? Could I take him by surprise from over there? Although I don't know how I'd get there. I don't know either. We're not Batman, so we can't even swoop or drop or anything. Or can we? I guess we're trying option... One? Do you even get a chance to look at option two? Wow. Oh, yes! Deductions! Let's go! Let me ponder while I'm actually in the rain getting soaked and sick. Okay, so Mitchell, the surgeon, could be the person behind that entire case. One of Dunn's brothers in arms tried to pass as Yale's doctor. Who's the guy passing for Yale's doctor? The horse standing guard at the warehouse is armed. Oh, I got a deduction right here. Check this out. 
If I could, okay, two thugs tried to scare me into leaving the case, but one of them was trigger happy. Yeah, boy. Of course, he's Randall Lee's partner. I should be careful. When they gave me a beating, I could see he was kind of trigger happy. Yeah, he wanted to bust a cap in your ass. Uh, should we make another deduction or nah? Yeah, we should. All right, second round. So. Let me see. I'm going to do this one, and I'm going to do this one. No! Uh, this one? No! Okay. Come on. No! Ooh, wow. Huh. Let me see. Hold on. Maybe Cassidy? No. I don't know what to do. No. Hold on. O'Leary calls the death of Yale's father and now rigs his fights to quiet his guilty conscience. Hmm. No! I don't even know what to do at this point. So, I'm not gonna waste any of my time. All right, but what do I do exactly? How should I climb this? Because this is very perplexing to me. Unless if I'm able to just magically climb, maybe I could magically climb, who knows. Is there a way for me to grab onto something here? Anything? No? Nothing? Am I just walking senselessly? Yeah, I really don't know what to do at this point. No? Black Sad, please give me a clue. What do I do? You know, Alexa... I never once called you. I don't know why you gotta talk. That's pretty suspicious how you were listening, though. I said black sad. No, but seriously, what do I do? This is really confusing. Okay, so I'm gonna walk all the way over here because there's nothing for me to do over there. I'm being soaked up in the rain right now. I'm probably gonna get sick. Thunderstorm, lightning. Nothing for me to grab over here. Let me, you know what? Let me try to do the deduction again. There has to be something. There just has to be something. I tried, okay? I tried. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna do random stuff. Th wow. That's crazy. Uh... I thought these two would make sense, but apparently it doesn't. Which, that doesn't make any sense. Like, what am I missing here? No. No. 
No. No. Okay. No. Okay. Yeah, this is annoying me. This whole not being able to do the deduction is really annoying me. And you know what's even more annoying me? How am I supposed to do this? What am I supposed to do? I don't know what to do. This game's not giving me any clues. Like, do I climb? No, I'm not doing no deduction because I can't even form a deduction correctly. Leave me alone. Okay. Maybe here? No? Bro, I don't even know what to do. If I can't figure anything out, I'm just gonna look at the wiki because at this point, I'm not gonna waste my time just walking around senselessly because I have stuff to do in this game. Like, I want to solve this case. Okay, um... Is there anything I can climb? Nothing? Alright, I'm just gonna look at the wiki, hold on. So, according to the wiki, supposedly there is a forklift up here. So I have to walk all the way to the other side. Which, by the way, if it wasn't for the wiki, I would have never thought to walk to the other side. Because, yes, I am that slow. Do not judge me. You probably would have done the same thing, so whatever. This... this is a little annoying. Okay, so I'm expecting a forklift, right? Where is it? Oh, is that it? Oh shit, that's the forklift! Okay. Damn, this is a big area. I just love how I'm still walking in the rain. Thundering. Lightning. Okay. I'll take that for a spin. I haven't rode one of these since my Whole Food warehouse days. Hold R2 to move forward and L2 to move backward. Use L to change direction. Ooh. Sweet. So, ooh. Oh, shit. Yep, this is, uh, just like in Whole Foods. Okay, but what do I do, though? That's the thing. Okay. Seriously, though, what do I... Maybe here? Wee! Oh my goodness! Yes! We're getting somewhere! Finally! Shit. Thank you, Black Sad Wiki, because I would have never thought to do this. That's actually pretty dangerous, do not do that. But yeah, I'm finally happy that we got somewhere. Wait, that far? Really? Can I even climb? Damn. Oh, oh, Black Sad, I see you with your upper body strength. Careful. Look at this guy. He is so ready to pop someone. Okay, so what do we do? What's the plan? Huh. 
So I guess we jump him from above. Damn. I'm scared. What if I don't want to pounce on him? There has to be a different way. Really? Fine. I guess we'll pounce on him right now. If I die, I die, right? I think I'll wait until his back is turned. Like, right now. Oh, shit! Damn, that sucks. Yes, I would like to retry. You know what? I'm not going to pounce on him. There has to be another way to get in this place. I'm not I'm not going to do that. That's suicide. Frankly, there has to be another way for me to just leave. Yeah, leave Black Sad. Just leave. There has to be an open window. Oh, the ladder? Yeah, let's go. This is a lot more better, honestly. That way I'm not dealing with being shot. I'm finally on the roof. Now, how much do you want to bet there's at least an open window for me to get in? There has to be. Because it wouldn't be convenient without an open window, am I right? Or nah. There's no open window for real? Okay, I guess... I guess this game is realistic for once. I'm impressed. I did Ooh. mess up a guy's face with an extinguisher once, but this kind is too heavy for my current needs. Is that... a shield? Oh boy, I can't wait to tackle his ass with that. All right, let's go. Yo, he's knocked out. You know what? Serves him right for being an asshole. Dude, at least get the gun. What are you doing? Oh, he's slick. Never mind. Forget it. I'm not questioning him ever again. Black Sad knows what he's doing. Look, that horse is out cold. Oh, he saw the whole thing. Is he going to snitch or not? That horse is all tied up. Bye-bye. He can sense someone is watching him, but he doesn't know who hmm. or where. What does this place have to hide? All right, so let's take a look and see. Because curiosity um, killed the cat, am I right? What's in here? Should I? Hmm. Could I? Yo, what if that's a nuke and we didn't even know any better? I need to stop being really nosy. This is reckless. I bet this is another one, right? Yeah, it's the same thing. It's like you need the key. You need a key to activate this and stuff. So question is... Where's the key? What's in here anyways? Can you even open it or not? Then again, do you really want to open it? What if there's like radiation or nuclear waste in there? Then it'll be another fallout. War. War never changes. Okay, so that's outside. What's in here? 
papers? According to yeah. this, the warehouse belonged to a Canadian import company. Okay, so most likely there's maple syrup in there. Wait, there's something upstairs. Yes. I want to take a look. Okay, so maybe we can find more clues here. Maybe. A ticky. Ooh, a card. Yes, I'll take that. And, uh... A dream catcher. Yep. It's supposed to protect children during the night, trapping all evil in its spider web. If I'm not mistaken, these are incense sticks, used in cleansing rituals. And I see a horse picture right there, too. I believe in you, son. Huh. Interesting. It could be an Ojibwa totem pole. In which case, the top animal would be a crane. How intriguing, indeed. Oh, new deduction, okay. So what new clues can I deduct here? Um... Come on, it's the same thing. It's basically the same thing. Like, I already... I don't know what to do. Whatever. I don't know what to do. Ah, well, whatever. Whatever. I don't know what to do. Really, I really don't. All right, let's go. What other clues can I find? Because I can't do any deductions since none of the deductions work. It's pissing me off. Bro, that's it? Is that? Ooh, the horse is in there. I'm not going to open that. Wait, really? Is that... Is that it? Yeah, it's really it. It's like there's nothing here. Okay. Maybe the horse has a key? Oh, he's awake! Nice. <laughs> Don't you even think of screaming. I might not even talk. You know what? I'm gonna observe then since you can't even talk. Let me see. Ooh. The necklace. It looks like an arrowhead. A deduction already? Huh. Oh, okay. This one should be easy. Everything seems to prove that Gil is a Native American, and I'm almost sure that the woman in the picture is his mother. You know who always believe in you? Your mother. My mother never lost her faith in me. And I gave her plenty of reasons when I was a kid. It all started with something as stupid as keeping the change when she sent me for groceries. Then I started stealing fruit from the street stands. And finally, mm. I turned to pickpocketing. Somehow, my mother managed to keep me in school until I got into college. But I never gave her reasons to believe in me then either. Damn, what a depressing story. I made new friends. The type of friends that convince you to do things that wouldn't make a mother proud. Then yep. Pearl Harbor happened. Like I got how? drafted and sent to Europe. Damn. They told me killing was my moral duty. But I discovered it could be addictive. Not all victims were Nazis. But when I got back, 
I was treated like a pariah, a veteran outcast who never should have come back in the first place. And yet, my mother never ceased to... Thanks for the key? Was my I story boring? I also in the war. That's where I met Mitchell. They used me, like many of my people. And then they just tossed us aside. Damn. The first time Mitchell offered me to do this, I told him to take a hike. I wanted to get my act together, but I ended up begging him. I don't like Mitchell. I don't like the things he makes me do. Wow. I don't like that German rat either. But what I like least of all is myself. Damn. I don't like what I did during the war, and I don't like what I'm doing now. I'm sorry about that. Do you know what it's that. like to kill a friend for the sake of the mission? Huh. But my mother, she always thought I'd make amends and start anew. Wait a minute. Kill a friend? Huh. I think I have a theory already. Maybe it's time I did just that. It's number three. Thanks. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.